Hey everyone, this is Summer Erin, and today we're just going to talk about when the next game pack is probably coming and why I think there's also going to be an expansion pack for this year, and then also just some people's predictions as to what this could be. Before we go ahead and get started, my name is Simmer Erin. I do Sims 4 news, speculation info videos, heavy on the speculation, and of course I do pair lives news and info videos as well, so definitely check out the playlist for both if you are new here. So today I do want to talk about the game pack that has not yet been announced because I think it's been on our minds. Ego Lifestyle has come and people have been playing with it and unfortunately there's been lots of bugs and glitches but I do think some people have been enjoying it as well. I do want to do another video kind of talking about the biggest problem with Sims 4 and kind of the bugs and glitches but for the sake of this video I want to stay on topic with the game pack. So taking a look at the six month roadmap here, when this was first announced, I wasn't really sure it was going to actually follow this pattern. But as you can see, I really think that it is going to. What I mean by that is we did go ahead and got that expansion pack first and that was Eco Lifestyle. And as you know, that was a big surprise to a lot of us. Now, after we got the Eco Lifestyle, you can see the next in the timeline supposedly would be a stuff pack. Now, if this is the case, it makes sense to me, right? Because we've seen a lot of the stuff pack and we already know what that is, and that is Nifty Knitting. Now, I have been kind of vocal on my channel about criticism, but I will say for Nifty Knitting and for me not liking stuff packs, I am actually pretty impressed with the progression of the stuff pack. Not only have we gotten great open communication and those deep dives, I definitely recommend you check it out. Even if you think you're not interested, I think it's really interesting to see the process that goes into making a pack. I've been really impressed with that process overall, and while I would have preferred an arts and crafts pack, I think that for what the theme is, I think that they are doing a nice job developing it. Now, that though leaves the game pack. So let's go ahead and look at actually like a timeline of some things that could help us predict this. And this is when Sims 4 packs have been released in previous months. I probably have showed this on my channel before, but I think it's really relevant right now. So if we look at this, the navy blue indicates a game pack. And when the game pack has been released in the past, the kind of teal color is a, an expansion pack and the yellow color is a stuff pack. Does this mean that the Sims team has to follow this? They absolutely do not. However, it does seem to be a pattern. So if we presume that they might follow a pattern and we look at the stuff pack, we could expect nifty knitting either in July or August. As you can see, July is very possible, but August is an especially popular time to release stuff packs. And I could see both of those, I would guess either very late July or more early August. That leaves our game pack though. And the game pack, it looks like the most reliable time we could expect is sometime in September. I would guess either mid-September or late September for this unexpected game pack. And we do know that the Sims team has been very quiet lately and that's why I am banking on Nifty Knitting, like I said, being released probably at the end of this month, but if not early in August, and then that would give them a month to a month and a half in between the stuff pack and the game pack. Now, why do I think there's going to be another expansion pack? Because honestly, they've done this before where they've told us, okay, we're going to give you X, Y, and Z, and then they snuck in an extra expansion pack. They did this last year with Discover University, right? So they announced Realm of Magic and some people thought that was it for the end of the year, but it actually wasn't. We got Discover University and I believe we got it in November. Now I think this is very, very highly likely we're going to get an expansion pack after this game pack because November, as we know, also is kind of near the holidays season. And that is a time for a lot of sales. So if I had to guess, we are going to get a game pack that's never been done before, a little bit more experimental. And then in November, we're going to get some kind of 
game changing, not game changing, I shouldn't say that, some crowd pleaser expansion pack. So crowd pleaser expansion pack Discovery University, of course, is a great example because it's something that everybody's been asking for. So I would predict that we're going to get a new expansion pack that's something everybody's been asking for and it's going to be in November. Now, if you ask me, is it going to be a Generations? I highly doubt it. I would love for it to be Generations, but I'm going to leave my predictions for that for another video. But that is my timeline. Now, as far as some people speculating on the game pack, my biggest question for the game pack is what would define a major first? And in fact, on one of the Sims community forums, people were asking the same thing. So as you can see this poll here, people had different ideas of what would constitute a major first. Now, the problem with the term major first for the Sims expansion, or for the game pack rather, would be what does that mean? Does it mean it's a major first and has never been done before at all in the Sims franchise? Does it mean it's a major first for a game pack? Does it mean it's a major first for the Sims 4? You see how this could be really slippery. Now, I truthfully hope that if they say something's a major first, they just go full with it and it really is a major first. But the question is, is it something that is really just so out there that it's not related to anything? Or is it something like it's going to be a travel pack, for example, but it's a world we've never been in? You guys can let me know your predictions in the comments below. Another thing I do want to mention is that I think with the game pack, it's definitely less likely that it's going to be related to the community surveys. To clarify, I have done some videos on my channel and I want to continue doing that, digging into that community survey where we voted on some things in April and some features that could come to the game. But I don't think that something we voted on in April is going to be ready for a brand new concept game pack that's going to come out maybe as soon as September. As we know, it takes a long time to make packs. It's even been taking a long time to make a stuff pack. So I suspect this game pack, if it really is a major first, it could take up to a year to develop. So to that end, I am going to actually roll out. I do not think that there's going to be a team pack for the game pack. And like I said, I would like to do a separate video kind of talking about my specific predictions. But I wanted to give you a general idea of when I thought the game pack was coming out, why I think there's a new expansion pack coming out, and kind of talking and getting the conversation started in terms of what would be a major first. Now we do know that it is September, so it's always possible that it is going to be some kind of supernatural gameplay or a call gameplay. There's going to be some people in the comments and they're going to be like, yes, I really want supernaturals. And there's going to be some people that say, we really need realism. And to tell you the truth, and I've said this in all my past videos, Sims 4 needs a base game update and it needs glitch fixes, but if it got that, I think that the debate between realism and occult is very relevant and I think we need to respect that everybody has different gameplay. I personally prefer realism, but I also recognize that the occult in The Sims 4, some of them are good. I think vampires are very well done, but some of them are not very good like the mermaid. So they either need to update those or give us new occults just because everybody deserves to have their own gameplay represented. So as far as this, I'm just going to go really quickly through some people's predictions. And like I said, I'm going to do some other videos, so don't worry about that, where I will tell you my honest opinion and my own predictions. So someone suggested teens. As I said before, I don't think this is likely. I do think we will get a teen pack eventually, but I think it is too soon to get teens. Another person suggested superheroes, a country club, and a moon base. The moon base to me does not seem likely because we have gotten something similar to that in Get to Work where we do have a world you can travel to like that. Other people have suggested farming. Again, I want to go into this another topic. Of course, we had that leak. It ended up being false. That doesn't mean that farming is never coming. Also, I saw some things in terms of maybe carnivals and generations. And my thing with this list right here and the forums and the things I've been going through, I felt like there are less predictions and more wish lists. And don't get me wrong, I think that generations could be awesome for a game pack, but it's not going to be for the game pack for sure. And that's because it's considered a major first. Unless they say that it's a major first 
for The Sims 4, which would be really pushing it out there, I do not think it is going to be a Generations pack. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, the purpose of this video is kind of just do introductory. I'm going to be doing a series on these and kind of talking about why I think there's an expansion pack coming, why I think that that major first may or may not be how we interpret it. And I just wanted to let you know, guys, that I really enjoy doing these videos, but I especially enjoy when I see your comments in down below and you guys let me know what you think. Also, if you have any video requests and you want me to go into my predictions further, I would be more than happy to. And on that note, I'm going to let you go. Hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you next one. Bye, guys.